Welcome back. Uh, this is video 3B. This is what we did in the previous video is we set up the VPN server on a DigitalOcean droplet and now we are going to get the configuration file off of that server and onto a local machine. And this version of the video is going to be using Linux or Mac OS. Now I'm going to have to give a quick disclaimer about Mac OS. I do not own a Mac machine. Uh, I cannot test this, but I believe it should work on Mac OS. I'm afraid I just can't promise that because I don't have a Mac OS machine. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, the reason why I think it should work on Mac OS is because Mac OS uses uh, the same scripting language, uh, the same shell language that Linux uses, that most Linux distros use, called Bash. Uh, you may recognize Bash from one of the previous from the previous video, um, and Mac OS's kernel is related to BSD, and BSD and Linux are both based off of Unix. So that's why I think it should work on Mac OS. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is we are going to have to use a program called SFTP. To get the program, to get the file off of this server that we just created. Now, SFTP is already comes pre-installed in Linux distros. Like in this case, I'm using Ubuntu. I'm using an Ubuntu virtual machine just so we get a completely fresh install because that way I won't accidentally skip something because I already installed it. Um, so, SFTP comes pre-installed on uh, most Linux distros. It might come pre-installed on Mac OS. I'm not sure, but I would imagine so. Uh, please ignore the dark web stuff. That's got nothing to do with this. This this machine doesn't even have Tor installed. Um, so anyway, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go into uh, our droplets menu, and you can see we're going to need to get this IP address from the droplet that we created, from the virtual machine that we created. And it's got this nice nifty little feature here. Uh, you can hover your cursor next to the copy, uh, next to the IP address and say copy. And it'll copy it to your clipboard. So that's just a nice convenient thing to do. And in the terminal, we're going to want to type in SFTP and root at the uh, I, root at the IP address. We want to use that uh, that method because uh, that way we know this username, this IP address. Hit enter. And it's going to ask, are you sure you want to do this? Because this, to the computer, this is an unfamiliar server. It's never seen the server before. So it wants to make sure, did you intend to connect to a server that you've never seen before? So the answer is yes. So it's added uh, that to the list of known hosts. And now it's going to prompt us for the password. This is the same root password that we created in the previous video? Yeah, previous video. That's why I said you want to keep track of your password. You want to make, make sure you know what it is. So, now we are connected to, uh, to the server as SFTP. And we can type in, you don't have to do this, we can type in print working directory PWD to show that we are in the root directory because we're logged in as root. Now one of the things that the previous script that we ran in the previous video did was it copied the configuration file to this directory that we're currently in. Okay, uh, so what I want to do is I want to I want to get the file, so I want to get client one to OVPN, and I want to put it in my home directory. So I'm going to put home Andrew client one dot OVPN. So I want to define the directory as well. I mean the to find the file as well as the directory. Otherwise it won't work. Also, um, something to keep in mind: a common thing to do in Bash is to use this tilde as the uh, as a shortcut for the home. Just FYI, that won't work here. Um, I don't know why. There's some places where that works, some places where it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the home directory, and we can see that there it is. It's been created. I'm going to go ahead, just, just for the sake of, we can make it a little bit more transparent. I'll show it. Oh, I just did the wrong thing. So git client1.ovpn home andrew client1.ovpn and it, and there it is it downloads it you can see the 
contents. I'll open with Pluma. Pluma is the default for for uh, default text editor for Linux. I'm sure it's different. For, I mean, I'm I'm sure it's different for most flavors of Linux as well as Mac OS. So we can see that there the contents are. All right, uh, that's it for this video. This is most of the work has already been done at this point. Uh, the only thing left to do is to install a uh, VPN client on your local machine and devices that you want to use it on and then you can use the uh, VPN and that'll be in the next video in 4, 4B. 4B for Linux uh, and Mac OS. Uh, 3, 4A for Windows. See you in the next video.